Greetings, church. Welcome to Holy Spirit Radio. Welcome to Holy Spirit Radio. I pray that your faith has failed you not. I pray that you know that our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus is closer than he ever has been, even than when we first believed. And I pray that you know that he's the faithful king. That through all the trials, through all this battle, through everything that we face, he is the great king. He is God Almighty. He's coming so good for us. Church, let us remember. It's time for us to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And church, we're not waiting on the end time to get here, because the end is hell. Yes, beloved. We're not waiting on the end time to get here, because the end is Well, brothers and sisters, well, brothers and sisters, it's good to gather with you again. I pray all is well with you and your families. I pray that you are encouraged. And I pray that you know the Lord is faithful to keep us from all destruction. Oh, man. Brothers and sisters, I just pray that through all your trial, through all your suffering, through all your pain, through all the spiritual warfare, you know that there's a great promise that we will inherit as we be faithful to the gospel that we have received according to the will of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Okay. I pray that your family, your baby is okay. I just pray that you've been strengthened by the grace of our Lord. And I pray that you know, even if you have fallen, that the grace that the Lord have given us allows us to repent and get back up and keep running the race because he loves us greatly. Okay. And that love drive us to obedience. To his will. That grace shapes us, mold us, and keeps us from living a lie. But rather, we live the truth. So, brothers and sisters, I just pray that you've been strengthened by the grace of God because that grace was never meant for us to go and live a lie. But that grace came so that we would live in the truth. And that truth is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And brother and sister, I pray that that grace has been strengthened in your heart, through your pain, through your suffering, through your hurt, through your insecurities. Because that grace worked all things in Christ for the benefit of our soul that we may inherit eternal life. Jesus, man. Okay. Brother and sister, today we're going to pray. We're going to intercede today. We're going to pray and intercede today. And uh, <clears throat> before we pray, you know, um, I got a, I got a, uh, got a word. What's well, going to be word in intercession today? So let me just say a quick prayer. Um, Lord, um, I pray that you just bless this intercession that we're going to have. Bless this word um, that will go for, Lord, that we may be in fellowship with your heart, Lord. Father, we thank you for all that you've done, all that you've given us through your son, Jesus Christ, that we may dwell with you, Father. We love you so, so much. Please meet us. Please, Holy Spirit, break out in this moment, in this intercession, that we may be free by being consumed by your presence. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> well, brother and sister. We're gonna we're just gonna be a little quick word, and then we're going into intercession. So today is just prayer uh, intercession, okay? But before we go into intercession, the Lord wanted me to say this, and um, that the Lord is alive and well. That we don't serve a dead God; we serve a living God. God is so living, man. It even it even. It's even it's it even scarier to even hold his name 
in the same sentence as death. Uh, he is so alive. It, it is frightening. Like, man, it even frightened me to even say death <laughs> when, when you even talking about him because he's such a living God. He's such a consuming fire, man, <laughs> that death have no place in this presence. Oh, uh, and we serve a living God. Death can't be around him. We serve a living God. And he's alive and well, sitting upon the circle of the earth. I remember waking up in the vision, seeing him, seeing, seeing him revealing that he sits upon the circle of the earth, looking down in the earth. And brothers and sisters, our Lord is alive. And he see everything that we're going through and nothing we're going through catches him by surprise. For he know the plans that he have for us. And every suffering and every trial is to transform us according to the, transform us in the righteousness of Christ Jesus and to cause us to walk more in the right, righteousness of Christ Jesus through obedience by the grace that he have given us that allows us to obey in him. Jesus, man. And as I was speaking to the Lord, the Lord took me back to a vision that he had um, showed when he took me in the spirit, man. And brothers and sisters, as 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 he as we we spoke about how Jesus, how, um, the Holy Spirit took me in the spirit, and I seen Jesus sitting on the throne in heaven. But and and, and seen and I seen Jesus sitting on the throne in heaven, and also I remember being waking up in the vision, and there was a door open in heaven, and. As I walk through this door in heaven, as the Lord bring everything full circle with every vision that he's shown, bringing it full circle, that son, our door was open in heaven and you walk through that door and you see me sitting on my throne. And as I contemplate about everything the Lord has shown, walking through it, being taken in the spirit, walking through a door in heaven and being able and and, and walking through a door in heaven, by this door being opened in heaven, walking through this door in heaven, being able to see the Lord high and lifted up on his throne in heaven, confirming everything that was already written in his word. Even more shows that his word is everlasting. His word, the Bible is absolute truth and he is alive forevermore. The church, there's a door open in heaven. And in that door, King Jesus sit on that throne, right hand of the Father, commissioning everything because everything is upon the suggestion of His feet, because the earth is His footstool. Oh man, that heaven is His throne where He sit. His heaven is His throne where He rests all of His glory, and the earth is His footstool where He will reveal His glory. Jesus. That God's glory is revealed in heaven for his throne and the earth is his footstool. Where he allowed man to experience his glory. Jesus, man. And in the life to come in a new heaven and new earth, we will experience his glory for all of eternity. Okay. So, brothers and sisters. I remember walking, a door being opened in heaven. And while this door being opened in heaven, there's this bright light behind this door. And as I enter the door, it consumes everything that the Lord have been showing since the beginning of every vision that I am who I say I am. And I'm sitting on the throne in heaven. So as I contemplate this vision, walking through this door and the Lord alone, me to see him sitting allow me to see him sitting on the throne in heaven church right now there's a door open in heaven for us to, for, for, there's, right, there's a door open in heaven through the salvation, salvation that we have received from our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus that we can be in constant communication with the Father in heaven 
Therefore, let us not take advantage of that door that is open in heaven, but rather walk humbly through that door in heaven that we may fellowship with God and find mercy from him because we fear his name. And the greatest, the greatest evidence that we fear his name is when we believe in his son. And that son is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The greatest way and evidence that man fears God is when he lives and obey the gospel. Because when we reject the gospel, we say we don't fear God and his judgment that he have set for this world. See, when you obey the gospel, it said, Lord, forgive me of my sin because I am a sinner. And I know you love me, but I know you just and I don't want to receive your wrath. But when you disobey the gospel, you reject the gospel, you saying that I'm not afraid of your wrath. I'm not afraid. And when you reject the gospel, what you're really saying to the Lord is I'm not afraid of your wrath. I'm going to live the way I want, even though I know you got a mandate. Oh. So when you don't obey the gospel, you walk in pride. But when you obey the gospel, you walk in humility. Oh, man. Therefore, church, let us live in a gospel that we may live humble before God and we be exalted in the great day of the Lord because we believe in his one and only son. And that son is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. OK, so brother and sister, the Lord wanted me to share this with you that he sees everything that we're going through, that nothing have caught him by surprise. And that he is alive, a well breathing, sitting on the th- Sitting on the throne in heaven. His word says so throughout the whole Bible. You, throughout the whole Bible, the Lord is testifying of his throne in heaven. From the old prophets, from the, from the prophets in the Old Testament all the way down to the book of Revelation. About the throne of God. Okay. And brother and sister, in 2019, brother and sister, in 2019, we got brother Isaiah in the Old Testament. Spoke about the throne of God. How he seen Jesus sitting on the throne. And you got in the New Testament, our brother John got a revelation of the Lord sitting on the throne. And brother, right now today, in 2019, thousands of years later, thousands of years later, after the book of Revelation was written, that same throne that was written in the book of Revelation I seen it with my own bare eyes. I seen it. Jesus sitting on the throne in heaven. I seen that door being opened in heaven. As that door being opened in heaven, I walked through that door, my brothers and sisters. I walked through that door, my brothers and sisters. And I've seen Jesus Christ sitting on the throne in heaven alive forevermore. This same Christ Jesus, I seen with a sea of glass around him. This same Christ Jesus I seen with ceremonies flying all around him. This same Christ Jesus I seen sitting on a throne in heaven in the color emerald up in the throne of heaven that is in the bow, the rainbow of God. This same Christ Jesus. I've seen face to face showing the greatest revival this world have ever seen for the church in this hour that we are in. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us find confidence in the word of God. The Bible is absolute truth and everything I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I'm afraid that everything the Holy Spirit is saying right now is already written in the word, just a confirmation to that which is already written. Brother and sister, our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, a few years away, he's coming back for his bride. I appeal to you, brother and sister. This same Christ Jesus, who was in the beginning with the Father. This same Christ Jesus, who was in the beginning with his Father. This same Christ Jesus, that was alive and well through the time of the prophets in the Old Testament. This same Christ Jesus, that became flesh and walked and dwelled among us and walked with the earlier disciples 
This same Christ Jesus that was crucified on the cross, died, through, died laid in the grave three days and was raised and ascended to heaven. This same Christ Jesus I seen with my own bare eyes through a door being opened in heaven. I walked through this door in heaven and even showing himself sitting on the throne, even came to me face to face talking to me. Came face to face talking to me. Even to the point of putting his hands and touching me. And I said to say, because it's got nothing to do with me, but it's got everything to do with God. This Christ Jesus is God. And I've seen him sitting on a throne in heaven. On the throne in heaven. He seated. He on a sitting on the throne in heaven. Right hand of the father. Brother and sister. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly and Wise Father, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us of our sin. We come before your throne. How great and magnificent is your glory. How great and magnificent is your power. How great and magnificent that you are and you live forevermore. Lord, we repent of our sins. Please forgive us of our sins, Lord. We pray that you would just draw, draw near to us right now in this moment, Lord. Lord, help us in our despair. Help us in our pain. Help us in our suffering. Help us, help us in our agony. Help us in our fears. Help us in our doubt. Help us in all our concern by driving us to your presence and anchoring us in your presence to tell us that, baby. You don't have to feel because my presence is all you need. You don't have to doubt because my presence is all you need. You don't have to be concerned about the cares and concerns of this world because I am your hope. You don't have to worry about tomorrow because today I am your truth. You don't have to worry about anything that you will face that is coming because I am with you even to the end of this age. That you can rejoice in anything that you face because no matter what you face, I am with you. Because I am with you, you will endure to the end because I have already finished it on the cross. Lord, we pray for a greater obedience in the church. Lord, we pray that we will appreciate Lord, we pray that you will live a life of repentance and not a life of rebellion. We pray that we will live a life of obedience and not disobedience. For Lord, we want to obey the gospel, Lord. Lord, saturate us, Lord. Teach us your holy and perfect way. Carry us by your spirit, Lord. Unite us with your presence like you never have before, Lord. Bring the church to repentance in this hour, Lord. Bring every place that you want to use for your glory to repentance that we may glorify your name and your truth and in spirit because you're worthy of everything, Lord. Help us to be more obedient, Lord, so we will not trample on and defeat your testimony. Lord, we don't want to trample on and defeat your testimony because we fear your name, Lord. Lord God, we know you are full of love, but we know your justice is love as well, Lord. We know you love us, Lord, but we know you also would judge us if we disobey the gospel, Lord. And we don't want to be judged by disobeying the gospel. But rather, Lord, we want to receive your mercy, your grace that comes through the gospel. Father in heaven, we love you so much. We can't live without you. Now we breathe, Lord. For in all things, you are all powerful and you have crushed the head of the serpent. And we pray that we walk victorious, not by our strength, but by the power of your spirit, Lord. Through 
your righteousness that you have redeemed us in that we may worship and serve you forevermore in truth and in spirit and worship the type of worship you seek Lord Father we pray that we will live to please your heart by giving you the true worship that you deserve Lord. because daddy we know you don't want false worship you want true worship and those that truly worship will live by your spirit and true faith in the son of Christ Jesus that there is no true worship apart from Christ because only true worship comes through Christ because Christ Jesus is the true faith of us all Lord God we just pray that we will live for your glory we just pray that we will magnify your name we just pray
your peace would unite us, that your peace would never cause us to compromise, and your peace would be the joy of our life to keep us solid in God, to keep us free, and your presence that keeps us humble at your feet, that we may give honor to you and not ourselves or no man because you are the only one that for it. You are the only one that paid the price for our sin. You are the only one that gave us your spirit that we may inherit eternal life by being reborn again, Lord. That we love you. We pray to you. We cry, Lord, by faith. We believe that you have heard it, Lord, Lord, because we know you are living, Lord. And you hear all things, Lord. Not that you have to, because Accept the Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Repeat this prayer for me. Say, Dear Lord, I thank you for leading me to this place. Heal me with your spirit. Teach me to walk in your ways. I put my trust in you for salvation. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my risen Savior. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, brother and sister.
welcome to the kingdom of God. And now, go get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, go get submerged, baptized in the water. In the name of the, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, okay? Welcome to the kingdom of heaven. We have been okay. For Jesus told me that no man can enter the kingdom of heaven unless you're born again. When you accept Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're born. And through that process, you go get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So now that you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior, something happened to you wrong, you should answer the kingdom of God. Now go get baptized also, which is a part of that salvation. A public, dis a public, dis a public display that you decide to follow to go get baptized and it's in the water. Okay? And now that you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will lead you to a gathering that is teaching the truth. See, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. He is a person. And, we'll, and once you in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will lead you to people that are teaching the truth. Because there's a lot of false doctrines. There's some churches that are not. Um, there's some churches that are not. There are some churches that are not teaching the truth. Okay. And the Lord Jesus want to spare you from that. He want to spare you from that. So, um, the Holy Spirit will guide you. He will build you up into your personal relationship. He will build you up in your personal relationship with Jesus. And that same relationship will cause you to know the truth because the more truth you know, the easier it is to discern a lie, okay? So as he building you up in truth, you know, he will have you gathering with brothers and sisters, whether that's in, because the church is a family, whether that's in a house or a building, gather wherever the Holy Spirit leads you because the church is not a physical location. The church is a people. So wherever the church is gathering, the church is happening, okay? Wherever the church is gathering, the church is, ha the church is happening, Okay, the church is happening. Okay, um, so whether that's in the building or the house, wherever the Holy Spirit is, the Lord is there. Okay, and you're free. Okay, because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. So where the Holy Spirit leads you is the truth, and you can be free in God. Okay, so congratulations um, on the separate Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, brother and sister. It's the best thing you can ever do in your life. This is better than money, anything physical in this life, because when everything else leaves, you'll still be standing because Jesus is victorious. I will save you, okay? And um, so welcome to the kingdom of God. Um, you have came back home. All of us um, have fallen short of the glory of God, fell victim to sin, and God rescued us through Jesus Christ. He brought us back home, brought us back to himself that we may live with him. So congratulations, brother and sister. Congratulations. And I pray for your well-being and your strength. Um. In our Lord, okay, um, brothers and sisters, this is all I have for you today. I pray that this word was a blessing to you, and I pray that it keep you and drive you to full obedience to the grace of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. And I pray that this prayer and intercession and word set you free today. In church, remember, you can miss man. sisters, if you don't know nothing else, please know, brothers and sisters, that Christ Jesus loves us, loves us, Christ Jesus loves us, loves us, loves us so, so much. See you next time, brothers and sisters. May the grace, may the peace and grace of God the Father and our Lord and Christ Jesus be with you. See you next time. Church, I pray that this word was a blessing to you, and I pray that it keep you walking with church let us remember it's time for us to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and church we're not waiting on the end time to get here because the end is now yes beloved we're not waiting on the end time to get here